Hey everybody, Rowler Wolf here once again with some KSP. I uh, just finished recording an episode, but uh, it was pretty laggy, had some technical difficulties, graphics were being buggy, and the game was running really slow. So, I'm re-recording it, but uh, I had started it right where we had left off in the last version of the last episode, but I didn't end up getting out of space because I ran late, it was running weird, so I couldn't turn the ship in time to get it up. And, Basically, it fell back to the uh, planet, and so I have to relaunch it anyway. I won't make you sit through that again, though, so uh, I'm going to be fast-forwarding this and just getting it up to about where we left off last time. I'm going to do my best to uh, get it about where we were last time. Alright, we're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. Hopefully things will go a little smoother. I don't know what is going on here. It just kind of kicked into, I don't know, as soon as it left the atmosphere, it just uh, went a little wonky. Uh, kick up the engine slightly so I have a little more control. I don't want to use up uh, the RCS fuel. I guess I might end up using some here. Inch out away from those. All right, we got a little more control now. We're not quite to the apoapsis. It looks like, because the uh, velocity vector isn't quite down to the horizon. Let's go ahead, and throttle back up, and check. Yep, we're doing pretty good. All right, I think we're gonna make it this time. It's about time. Turn on SAS. We should be more stable now with that extra, without that extra weight. Evenly just more evenly distributed. Um, I'd like to get closer to burning at the uh, horizon there. Let's see if we can make it over there. Easy does it. Just take it nice and slow in space. Slow is good. Almost there. I'll probably turn SAS on. There. Hopefully that'll be able to keep a pretty even mark. Throttle back up. Maybe not all the way up. Maybe it'll be easier to control if we throttle down a little bit. And we're about to get our periapsis on the other side. We're at 105 here. We do want to try and meet up with our other uh, ship out there. It's at 133. We have an orbit. Let's bring this up so we can actually kill the engines. 137 there. Periaps is at 101. I'd like to get... Actually, let's see. Yeah, I'm here. The other one's behind us, so we should go to an uh, orbit a little bit wider than it, so we can so we can catch up to us. Let's see. How about 145? That'll be decent. 146. Close enough. All right. I'm going to go ahead and autosave here, so if anything crazy happens we can uh, reset it from here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and time warp, I believe. Let's see. Or should I spin around first? Yeah, I know here our velocity vector is there. We will... Oh, we'll just wait. We'll just go ahead and time warp. 
ship is under acceleration. Must be because SAS is on. That happens sometimes when you leave SAS on, it'll say the ship's under acceleration. There we go, we can time warp now. Just get out to this apoapsis, then we can widen this end of our uh, orbit. Uh, five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Slow down there. And now we uh, turn on the RCS because it's going to be a lot quicker that way. Let's spin our ship. Alrighty, it's almost good. Lock it in there with the SAS. And burn. There we go, that's a pretty circular orbit. Should be outside of the other orbit the whole way. But not by merit very much. You know, I might go ahead and uh, extend it out a little more, just so our effects are a little quicker. I'll probably uh, accelerate the time here in the video. Basically, what I'm doing this for is uh, so we can get a orbit that it, we uh, basically go around our orbit slower than the uh, ship on the inside. so that it catches up with us and we can rendezvous. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm going to go check out this other ship real quick to see how much fuel it has. And I don't remember what the ship even looks like. It's been so long since I've played. Ah yes, the smaller one. I can go ahead and uh, open the Clampotron so you can see what that looks like. A little docking port on the side there. Our fuel is actually really nice on this. Got a lot of mono propellant, so this will be pretty maneuverable. I may use this one. Well, it's going to be hard to use this one for the docking because the port's on the side, so the controls are going to be really hard. But I could try it. Maybe I'll blow some stuff up. Could be a lot of fun. Well, we've got the other one in a little bit of a stable orbit. I'm going to go ahead and close these again. I'm not sure if they're going to cause any issues with weight distribution being open. It would be better if I don't chance it. Alright, the next step, our orbit of the small ship is inside the orbit of the big ship, so if we time accelerate, this should eventually catch up with the uh, arm that we're trying to attach it to. And once we get close, I guess I can go ahead and set it as a target now. Time to accelerate a little bit more. Oh, I can't accelerate past 100 times while this low in the atmosphere. Actually, since we're coming up to this ascending node, we can match the incline better. Let's see. Add maneuver. Ah. We passed it. It's okay, we'll uh Make that change over here on this side. Make things a little easier. Maybe. Why is it not letting me click on anything? Is it buggy or is it trying to. Here, let's go out of map mode and back in and see if we can fix that. 
Okay, here we go. Now look. Add a maneuver. Stretch down. Basically, I'm trying to get the uh, descending nodes to flip into the 90 degree area. It's about good. Then it will be 0% uh, zero or 0 uh, degrees. So that'll be right on with the other plane, the other orbital plane. At the same time, since we're getting pretty close, actually we might pass each other by then. But uh, we'll just try it here. We'll go ahead and widen this orbit. Actually, I don't have to do that. I can go to the other ship and uh, shrink its orbit down here. That will work just fine. But I don't think this node will stay active. Hmm. Very curious. What to do, what to do. Okay, I'll cancel that node. I'm going to go ahead and match, or start the matching of the orbits with this ship. Flip us around. to the prograde vector. Ah, uh, this ship is a lot easier to control. I like it. Lock it in there. Accelerate up. Until the apoapsis meets the uh, other orbit, which is at around 170. That looks pretty good. So now not only will we start meeting up with their orbit, but we should start slowing down in relation to each other as uh, we approach this point. So I'm going to move over the arm. And from this ship, we will adjust the orbital plane to match the other ship. It's a space ballet. Everybody likes ballets, right? Of course they do. Well, that'll be pretty nice. We'll be pretty close to each other. See, basically I'd like the orbits to meet and adjust this outer part of the uh, orbits together when they're pretty close. Because then they'll be in the same orbit and they'll be moving uh, at the same speed. Uh, you'll see when we get there. Alright. Uh, but we're not coming up on the Is that the... Yeah, I guess that's the uh, node there. Add a maneuver. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Add a maneuver. We want to... Go down this way. Until those match up. Or at least until they flip 90 degrees. Still a little off. That's negative 0.2 degrees. It's negative 0.3 degrees. Okay, so we're going the right way by going down here. Still negative 0.2. Five. Okay, so yeah, we'll still do that. Well, that's about as close as we can get to it. Now, bring this up. Turn the SAS off. Oh yeah, this is the beast to turn. RCS on. Get us over the lineup with this blue line, or the blue uh, 
maneuver no target. It's moving around because we're, we're using RCS, and so it's slightly adjusting our orbits back and forth. Uh, come on. Lock it there, turn RCS off. SAS should hold us pretty decently there. All right, and we will time accelerate. Oh, SAS off the time accelerate. Really? Come on. There we go. Time warp. And our node will be hit in 8 minutes, 7 minutes, 6 minutes, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, stop the time warp. Zoom in a little here so we can see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like they've already passed us, so we'll need to do some adjustments after this, but uh, at least here we can get our orbits in line. So we can see our node is going to be hitting 19 seconds. I'm going to burn just slightly here. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be an 8 second burn. Burn at 4 seconds. Three, two, one, cut it. Turn our CS back on. We'll go. We want to get as close to perfect so we'll meet back up with that blue line thrust a little bit more. That should be pretty good, I would think. Yep. Cancel that note. And let's see, now we sh switch back over to the other ship. Beautiful. Alright, and now, let's see how we can do this. Let's go ahead and line up, oh, turn SAS off, go ahead and line up with our probe grade indicator, because we're going to want to extend the opposite side of our orbit out. The ship is so much easier to control, I love it. Alright, lock that in there, and we can probably go ahead and do it now. I don't see really much reason to wait, because the other orbit is not perfectly circled either. So. We don't need it to be perfect. In fact, if we go a little bit past it, it might be good. Let's cut it there and see where we're at. It's 172. Okay, that's a little outside of the other orbit, or should be. Alright, so for all intents and purposes, we should be moving. We shouldn't really gain or catch, gain or lose them too much here. It's, uh, not that. Set him as a target. And now we should have indicators here showing when we're pointing at or away from the other ship. I think that's these pinks. Yeah, I think that's the pink. But I'm not sure which one yet. I haven't used this little feature yet, so uh, I'm not sure which one to shoot at. Could be this one. No, that's a 270. It should be the one on the 90 degree mark. I don't think we know. We're here. We're moving towards the 90 degrees. So yeah, it should be this one. Okay. Okay. Lock it in on that. Let me go into the other view just to make sure. Yes. Okay. 
So we're pointing right at it. It's 26.5 kilometers away. So, what we want to do, I'm assuming, I haven't done this yet, but um, we'll thrust in that direction. Pointing right at it. And we'll want to cut it and check our orbit. Let's see, how is this going to work? Um, let's see. So fire towards it, then maybe... Does it show how fast we're gaining on it? Oh, that must be this. Okay. We're moving at 81 meters per second, so I think we would want to kill this speed, which will fix our orbit. And match his orbit pretty good. And I'm doing the uh, trial and error process here. Let's see what that does to this. Yeah, okay, that's slowing us down in relation to the target. And should be speeding up our orbit. Okay, never mind, it's... what is this doing? Oh man, okay. We will be closest... Target position at intersect one. Let's see here. Getting further away from him, and our orbit is going out away from him too. Let's see, Give me seven kilometers. Let's go ahead and point at him. bring our orbit back closer together. I should have been watching that. Oh, wait. Okay. Our velocity vectors may have changed in relation to it. Maybe. What happens if we fire in that direction? Looks like it might be doing something, but I'm not sure. How about I unset the target and see if we are pointing in this direction here at this mark puts us. Hmm. Well, 
that really is just pointing up. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that should be pointing at him. What? Why is that indicator up there? Is that where we need to point to match our orbits, maybe? Let's find out. We'll do a nice big burst in that direction. And that doesn't seem to be doing anything. Target's over there. 34 meters per second. Well, that's slower, so it slowed us down in relation to them. Yeah, okay, that's slowing us down in relation to... Where's my X? There we go. Okay, so yeah. The yellow shows us in relation to the other ship our speed vector. So if we match that exactly, it should theoretically put us on exactly the same orbit. Let's see. Oh, wrong button. No, that's not the exact same orbit at all. Oh, but it does get us close over here. Hmm. That throw us off, but at least we're matched speeds pretty much. So now if I shoot right at the guy, which would be the pink, Now we should be closing in at 19 meters per second. Okay, yeah, I think that's how this is working. Okay. The only... Okay, so at least we're kind of matched up. It just makes our orbit look weird. At least the planes are good. So yeah, we'll point directly at him, fire, then we will go to the yellow retrograde to slow ourselves down and keep doing that back and forth, and hopefully we'll get there. I will be time-lapsing this, of course, so you don't have to sit through all of this. All right, well, I think I've gotten this part right. Even though the orbits look a little weird, over here where we intersect again, we're going to be really close. So I'm going to go time-lapse around and get us there. And I'm not too worried about us hitting at any point. Uh, the space is pretty big. So I should be able to time warp around. Hopefully that'll stay pretty close. Yep. All right, time warp a little more. So we're catching back up to him. All right. Now we can go back into manual mode. Now, at this moment where our paths cross, we want to kill as 
that we want to kill all of our motion in relation to the other ship, and that should line up our orbits. If I'm right. Which, I might, might not be. So, sue me. Okay. What time will we be at this point? 46 seconds from now. Like I said, I'm not too worried about crashing into him, because even 0.6 kilometers is a big space, and it's really unlikely that we're going to hit with two small ships in a huge space. Time. 20 seconds away, I'll start burning down. I don't know how much I have to kill. 60 meters per second. Okay, down to 30 meters per second. Our intersect is still pretty much the same. And there we go, I'll start burning lightly. Yep, that's lining up our orbits pretty well. Five meters per second difference. Yep, the target moved a little bit. We line up. This might work out pretty well. All righty. Let's go ahead and see how close we are. 659 meters away. And our orbits are almost exactly lined up. Oh, wrong way. Got to point at the other. Find the other pink dot. All right. Point right at him. Fire a little bit, maybe get 10 meters per second. Eh, let's go 5. That'll be safer. Check our orbit, make sure it's not going to throw us way off. Looks good. I guess I should go ahead and line up. To be able to kill our velocity. Let's lock it in there. I'm going to time warp a little bit two hundred meters, one hundred meters. All right, slow that down. Now line up and kill our velocity. In relation to the other ship, that is. There we go. We should be moving exactly with it now. Oh, 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 there we are. I hit the wrong button there. I hit X and then shift instead of shift and then X because I just wanted to give it a little tap of speed. There we go. Okay, we're heading at it at 0.2 meters per second. Let's see. This is going to be extremely fun to try and line up because we have this side mounted docking station. And we're going to be trying to dock to one of those. I guess I could go ahead and detach this stack from the other ship and have it line up with this one. I think I might do that. 
because then it'll be going straight on. We just won't have any actual thrusters. Thrusters will only have RCS to control this. I won't have any fuel for repositioning now. I'm going to go ahead and try this. It may not be the easiest thing to do, especially for a first time uh, docking in this station. I've done a couple of run like maneuver uh, rendezvous in space before, but not really docking. This will be my first time trying out these docking ports. So it could get a little hairy, maybe a little interesting. And we're still heading towards it. Let me check the map real quick. Yep, yeah, our orbits are pretty good. I'm trying to think how to orient this. Um, let me see how much. We've got plenty of mono propellant on this tank here. What else does the ship have? That's about it. Okay, I'm going to turn the RCS on and go to translation controls and try to figure out let's see, let's spin it around at least so it's facing. Oh, this will be interesting. At least it's pretty. I hope we don't blow up, though. What I'm doing now is just trying to turn it a little bit so it's, uh, perpendicular to the other rocket. I'm going pretty much all by visuals now. That looks pretty decent. It's SAS just to kill any movement. Now I need to turn it Perpendicular this way. There we go, that looks pretty decent. Now, RCS on. Oh, which button is this? Is it... Okay, H backwards is in. Okay, yep. In. Um, there we go. Whoa, 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 too much. Oh yeah, this is exciting. Uh, I've got to find the right key without pushing the wrong one first. There we go. No, 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 hit the wrong button there. I think I may have tapped the other ship. Well, exciting.
excitement and intrigue. Okay, let's try this again. Ah, the ship is a little more thrusty near the top, so it spins it. At the same time, let's see, to carry that spin. D. Alrighty. Try and line up this way and then move in. Very delicate. Alrighty. a little bit. Whew, good times. Stop. Need to angle a little bit. That looks good. to go slightly no that way this way and stop okay SAS is holding that in lined up pretty decent there maybe a little more that way Pretty decent. And then just come in a little bit. Uh, 
Oh wow, not really all that great. Back away a little bit. <laughs> All right, this is crazy, exciting. If I had had this bounce a little bit better, I wouldn't have to it'd be a little easier. Okay, we're ready to try this again. K goes towards. And I will slow us down. I wonder if fine controls work for thrusters too. Yes, they do. That's good. Oh, wrong button again. Alright, well at least I found out fine controls work. Ah, stressful. And I think we're moving towards the dark side of the planet. with the controls.
think I've sent the other one spinning, so that's going to be hard to catch up with. Um, interesting. All right, so I'm going to line it up as close as I can. starting to okay I guess I got close enough for connection um, can I somewhat spin it ah oh, locked on before I could spin it exactly how I wanted it I wanted it perpendicular but beggars can't be choosers I guess although I will quick save it here how about that quick save then Whoa, 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 whoa. Turn RCS off. Let's see. Can I lock it in place so the whole thing stops spinning? Maybe. And then come in here. Undock that. Let's see. Okay. Get it to stop spinning. Ah, there we go. Uh, undock. And then I need to spin a little and then redock. Jumbly, jumbly. Let's turn the other way. Turn the other way. Come on, Doc, baby. Now? Yes. That's a little better. Whew. Alrighty. So we have docked in space. We now have an arm, and it does have a command pod. Uh, let's see, let's switch. Like we control. Shut down that engine. This engine will be good. Oh man, alright. How far away do we want this space station to be? I would, I would think around 200 kilometers. Let me go in and see what this thing looks like as I'm trying to turn it. Ooh, what's going to happen if I turn on RCS and try and turn it? Ooh, yeah. That's going to be interesting. I wonder if the computer uses those all properly so they. Yeah, looks pretty good. So, lock it there. Turn off RCS. Alright, I wonder. I'm going to look what's going to happen. I would imagine it's going to try and curve as I throttle, because it's not balanced. There.
one of our resources like okay just want to get my apoapsis uh it's spinning too much Okay, leave SAS on with the RCS and thrust. Oh, it already got up to 220. I guess we'll go ahead and take it to 225. How about that? It's pretty good. And we're running low on mono propellant. Of course we are. I'm going to flip around to face the retrograde. Because by the time we get around to this, the apoapsis, that should be the prograde. So we can widen this out. I just know I can't use the mono propellant. That should be the RCS. No RCS thrusters. Okay, I have to try and keep it steady there. Yeah, ship's under acceleration, can't time warp. Turn off SES, time warp around. seconds out. We're just about lined up. Line up a little better. We're going for a 225. Throttle up. And try and keep her on target. Which is not going to happen easily. What about with us? Yes. That spins her around some. Space ballets. Coming to a theater near you. Coming to YouTube near you. Right in front of you. Oh, talking and concentrating at the same time is pretty hard. But I'm doing my best. I will probably time lapse some of this stuff. Who knows how much commentary I will leave in, how much I will take out. But I'm just about where I want to be. A little more thrust, 220, right there. 225, 700, and 227, 500. That's pretty decent. I wonder how well I am with the uh, orbital plane. Let's use the moon, because I think it's right on a 90 degree axis. Set that as my target. How far are we off? Point four degrees. That's not bad. So we're right around the uh, equator. I'd like to get that about perfect. But this thing's kind of hard to fly now that it's got two ships put together. But there we go. There's the uh, beginnings of our station. I think the next episode I do will be a quick episode. Um, it'll just be a few minutes maybe. Maybe 10 minutes at the most. It'll just be, uh... Can we get this thing locked down? So it stops spinning? Maybe? Okay. Uh, it'll just be a quick episode to, uh, disconnect these. Maybe do some fuel transfer, transfer over to this one. And, uh, maybe launch these guys back down to Earth and just have this controlling the arm. The arm should be pretty balanced. So once that's there, it should at least be able to, uh, 
fly somewhat straighter. I hope. I realize it's still going to try and curve because of this weight on the side of the ship, but it won't be completely off balance with different sizes of weights on this side and this side. So all right, I will catch up with you then. Uh, once again, this is Rather Wolf, and I hope uh, that episode went okay for you, and I will catch you on the flip side.